Stephanie from Principal Principles and I have some exciting news to share with you today. Something that you have been asking for for a long time. Well, let me back up and, and tell you, you know, over the last couple of years, I've been sharing with you um, a classroom observation checklist that is in a notepad format. And you know that I have, I ship these out, I print them, send them to you in the mail and you get them within just a few days. This one is the bestseller is uh, just the design of it. Everyone has liked, it's real colorful and uh, it's called Bliss. The other one that I have is the exact same content. It is the journey design and it is more um, neutral in color and it's the exact same content as the Bliss but just a more neutral design look. And then the last notepad I have, and it's very specific, it is red, white, and blue, specific for Texas school leaders. And it's specific for Texas school leaders because it is based off of the new Texas classroom automation procedures that are in place called TTES. So, shipping notepads and all of that has, be, has been wonderful, Excel. It is extremely time consuming. Keep it up with the inventory, contacting their printing company and shipping those out. I go to the post office almost every single day with tons and tons of orders that have to go out. So I'm very extremely grateful for that. But you know, it has its downside. So because of my work schedule and everything, it is just overwhelming. But also the good side of all of that that has helped me is to, to know that there's probably a better way. It's the digital way. We're all trying to be more digital friendly and um, you know use our tech skills a little bit more better and, and be a little bit more tech savvy. So I created the notepads in a digital format. So instead of you know the notepad being one page, it is now two pages, giving you plenty of space to write. But also the great news is that having it digital, you can get tons of designs that you want. You can get all different backgrounds that you like, and uh, you can find the best one that fits you, or you can get several of them that uh, fit the design choices that you like. And um, since it's digital, I have made it iPad friendly. I've also made it, you know, you take your computer in the classroom and, uh, you know, sit and watch the classroom uh, observation or the walkthrough pop up your notes and email it to the teacher before you even leave out of the classroom. So it's one more thing that is off your to-do list at the end of the day or at the end of the week when you're trying to get all of those, uh, you know, submitted to the teacher in, a, in the right amount of time frame. So I'm very, very excited to share with you what it all looks like and how it works so if you bear with me just a minute, I'm gonna flip the screen so that you can actually see it on an iPad and you can see all the features. And the one that I'm gonna share with you is the, the one that looks uh, this design. This is the design that I'll share with you, but you can get tons of designs. So I'll be right back. Format, I'm gonna scroll through and I'm gonna show you that you actually have two pages to this. Now, the only feature that you're going to have to have, the only thing you're going to have to install if you don't already have it on your computer, is a uh, the free version of Adobe, okay? So what you're going to do is download Adobe, and you're going to make sure that this opens using Adobe, okay? And there are directions for that also in the listing. So you'll type in the teacher's name right here, and you can say, whatever her name is or his name, the time you went in, the time you went out, the date that you were in the classroom, and what you were uh, observing, what subject or lesson you were seeing, what the level of student engagement were, was. What, are the students on task? Were they passive? Were they disengaged? Was it individual instruction? Was it small group and paired instruction? And then you can type a little notes right here, whatever you want uh, need to say. So you can uh, type your notes. So anywhere that you see blue is what you can click on. If it's in black, it's, uh, it's not able to change the text. So you just find the rigor rate and you click on that. The level, uh, the different instructional strategies 
and you click all the ones that um, fit that or if it was in other then you can use uh, the text box right here to put in uh, additional text and you just go through and click all of these things add text to where you want to you can stop at the one page and uh, you can down here at the bottom you can say that you're going to request a, a conference with the teacher after uh, you know after the walkthrough or the observation has happened or you really don't need uh, a conference at this time the teacher can request one then this little box right here is where if you have uh, features on your iPad or your computer that allow you to do a digital sig signature you can do that as well so if you want more space then you, here's a second page. A lot of notes can be taken right here. You can also sign right here as well. Let me go over the glow and grow section. Glow means that the teacher is doing something really well and you want to reinforce it so you see it over and over again. Pointing out to the teacher what they're doing well and ask them some questions in that area and write down the evidence that you are actually seeing them glow in so that they, you continue to see them do this time after time because it is working and it's very beneficial to the students and success. The second area is an area that the teachers might need to refine a little bit better. You can see maybe the students were off task a little bit or, or they weren't as engaged as they should be. Here are some, uh, write down some questions that you wanna ask the teacher and write down some evidence of where you kind of see that, that the teacher might could have done just a little bit more better in that area. And then also you can uh, request uh, the conference again in this section as well. So that is a look at the new classroom observation checklist in the digital format. So I hope you like that. I hope you've enjoyed it. After you have filled this out, email it to the teacher right here and you're through you're finished email you a copy of it as well so i hope you've enjoyed this and i and i hope that you find it beneficial and it's something that saves you a lot of time in the classroom thank you